terribly of well in oil. Hope we so, have a shit. So listen. Please ride with me, all right? Check for dead because, bodies. Because if you ride with me, you'll add more weight, so I'll give a better low in oil reaction. Well, why don't we do that? Else you'll be able to join the fun. <laughs> listen. Oh. Let's, let's listen to it. Uh, stopping right below us. Have to listen to what this thing makes. That means somebody's getting on and off, right? Yes, yeah, somebody just got off. Let's see if we're back to find the work. Yeah, listen, listen. gotten much worse they haven't refilled it in over six months we've been riding on this thing for the past six ish months and every time it's been low in oil periodically getting received the alarm bell there's your emergency that's i don't know i think it's the guide rollers are worn out no it's just slow as heck it's an older hydro. This thing is not running. Yeah, then listen. <laughs> this one gives a pretty good listen. After we go. Oh. Dang. After we go up directly from, f then we, after we go up the four, we go directly from three to four so that we can get the full, full low in oil reaction. Holy. It used to just be a little louder, like, uh, for just a second when it, but now it's doing the full thing, and then the full thing where it goes like crazy. Here's the alarm bell. We might need to use that because I do not trust this thing. And I stopped, made it go directly from three to four so we can just hear the lovely sounds this thing makes. Close the door, so quickly. That's why I like Dover's. The door close button always works. Oh. As soon as it starts, stop it, shape. Are we crashing? No. Let's go all the way down the B, up the Ford, and back down the B, and then we'll listen to the machine room and see what horrible noises this thing will make. Three thousand. Yeah, 3,500. Smooth on the way down. Yeah, if it wasn't low in oil, this thing would be very nice and smooth. Dover elevators have amazing ride quality when they're properly maintained. Like, the main elevators are maintained beautifully. They're always working. They're extremely smooth and efficient running. But this thing, um, yeah, they don't care for it. I wonder why they got traction elevators for four floors on the main ones, but yet they still got a five-floor, uh service elevator it got a hydraulic service elevator that's it taking that's because there's air still left in the impeller from when it first went up i believe and now it has to get that out dover isn't in existence anymore they have to get tiss and crop it Oh, that literally gave my feet. It felt like someone was tickling my feet. That actually is a full-blown massage this thing's giving our feet, isn't it? I'd rather get a nice pedicure ride in Dover about to crash. It's not gonna crash, it just means it's low in oil, but in the hydraulic pump's sucking air into the hydraulic cylinder, pushing up the elevator. It's not gonna crash. 
This means Sucking the air because it's low on oil. Exactly. Well. And there's it getting the residual air out. Yeah. Oh god. This thing is um then we're gonna get on the basement and just hear what lovely noises this thing has to make just for us. So this is the dumbest thing ever. Look, for the main elevators, they got four floor Dover computomatic tractors, but for the service elevator, they got a hydraulic five floor elevator that goes down to the basement, unlike the main ones. So they got a hydraulic one for more floors than the main ones, and then the main ones are traction. If this was traction, it'd be just as nice as the main ones, just with this cap. Back in. Oh my god, it stinks of oil down That's it.